Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make AutoCAD dynamic blocks. You just need to have AutoCAD for this. Any version of AutoCAD will do and these blocks are really really helpful and they can even make you stand out of the crowd. So guys, without wasting any time, let's go ahead and start with the video. So guys, let's get started. So these are all the dynamic blocks they just look like very simple basic normal block but they are not they have some really really interesting and amazing features to it so uh, i have made few of them and uh, you can see what they can do so these are some of the features that you can do by using dynamic block as you can see on your screen it is not just a very basic block they have features you can have multiple things embedded in the block you can have multiple features embedded in them stretch command uh, stretch command scale command and align command then you have visibility options so these are all the things that you need to take care of uh, whenever you are uh, making a block or you are doing anything with these dynamic blocks so guys uh, this is the basic of how the blocks are working and uh, i hope you understand the basics of it at least not the entire part i don't expect you to understand everything right now i will just show you how to make it then probably you will understand them better how these functions and how you can make one so let's go to one of the block i will go here reset the block so now it's in it's in its primary position what i'll do is i don't want to do it but explode so now it has no functionality nothing in it nothing is attached to it what i'll do is b enter then i will name it as single door and okay so now it is obviously it took the color the current color was red so that's why it took red but uh, i will just go ahead open this now this this panel is called the block editor panel what you have to do is like this is very very simple thing but a lot of people don't know about it how you can make them so here is my ordering panel so once uh, you come here what you have to do so the first command is probably let's make it you know uh, bigger and smaller so what i'll do is from where i have to start is linear parameter so these are your parameters then you will have actions then you will have parameters sets then you have constraints constraints we won't be going over we will be just looking at parameter and parameter actions right now so what you can do is uh, i will just start open my snap and uh, put everything on i usually don't do it i'm just doing it to show all of you so i'm i'm selecting the linear command and linear command where from where i have to stretch so that's very important so if i want to stretch on my left side on your window so i will go here and snap it like this so you can see there are two grips over here so one and two so we need to put an action to this command so that it will stretch accordingly and it will uh, resize it accordingly so now second second thing we need to add an action to it so i'm going on action then selecting stretch selecting this parameter so it will give you instruction turn by turn so you have to keep your eye on the a uh, cursor where it's giving you an instruction so i'm selecting this parameter now it is asking me to specify parameter point to associate with the action so we want to stretch it towards the left side so i will select this point so now i have selected so now it is asking me specify the first corner of the stretch frame so uh, what it is doing basically is it's asking me like from where you want to stretch this what all elements do you want me to stretch so i am specifying that i want to stretch this much elements i can even do this but if i want i can just keep it here now 
now your next move is select an object what all objects do you want to stretch so okay i want to stretch this this and this so now everything over this in this box can be pulled away and the other portion will be stretched along with it i am not putting this arc into it because uh, okay let's let's put this arc also into it i want to i want you to see like how it functions so i have put this so as you can see i have selected the arc also now click enter then close the block now let's see how this block functions so as we assumed there is one grip where we thought the action should be selected from now look at this okay it is stretching it should be stretching like this but we are missing something it's not scaling this door and this arc should scale also along with the stretch right so here comes our second command that we will be introducing to it so second command is the scale command uh, i will go ahead and uh, reset this block double click on the block okay now you are in the block editor again now you will be adding one more command to the already existing parameter so next command is scale command but before that you have to remove the option of where you selected this arc and this door you need to remove it from your previously selected stretch command how you will do that you will click right click on this small option over here that is the stretch command bar then go here then modify selection set it will ask you to again select the same coordinates now uh it is asking you to add select object to add into action but you don't want to add you want to remove how you will do that go on any any place and select remove now it will ask you to remove so i will remove click enter and i'm done over here now i will add a scale command to it now it is asking me to select parameter how i want this scale to work i want it to work in coordination with the stretch command so it should stretch and scale along uh, with each other so that is very important and that is the primary factor over here so i selected this now it is asking me which object do you want to scale so i will select this okay and then enter now my block should work right i will go and save let's see if it works let's stretch okay uh something is wrong over here like it is it is scaling too much so we have certain option over here like not to break any any of the parameters go over here again enter open the block editor select your distance and then you will find something very interesting so here you will have a value set in the properties bar just select list or increment so when you do a list it will set certain numbers for you like right now the door's original size is of 700 mm but i want to add more numbers because obviously i want to stretch it to a certain limit right so i will add 965 added 915 715 and these are the things that have been already added now now click okay as you can see like there are small bars that have appeared and now you will see why i have done this now uh, yeah one more thing this grip is of no use because we haven't added any action to this grip so select this scroll down so uh, once you select this distance and you will see another option that will appear that is the number of grips so right now we have two grips but only one is of use so just go ahead and select one grip and so yes uh, once you have listed all the distances you have set the grip just go ahead and click on close editor and now your door 
has restrictions it will not go above 965 and it won't go below 700 so once you select the list you are restricting your block and your dynamic block to behave in a certain way so this is something that is very useful now second option that is very useful in a block is a flip action uh, so this is one of my favorite command it is very simple and uh, you can like seriously learn it like in a second so just take the midpoint and press f8. press f8 it should be straight flip state one, flip state one. one. if you want and you can name, name it whatever you want flip one okay so okay so this is now this is flip one i can move this, this to this portion and, and we, have added a we have added a parameter now second option is now we have to add an action so go on action you will find similar option go here select parameter now you have selected this now what you want to flip you want to flip everything along with it so just go here select everything if you want you can remove this selection also but it doesn't matter just click enter close block save changes and now boom you you have working. a working parametric block and guys, and guys in the next, next video i will even teach you how to add up visibility and all the other factors i will teach you how to uh, make windows and how to make things scale according to the parameters so it is a very in-depth thing but i wanted to make this video very short and just wanted to give you a gist of how parametric block functions and how they are made so go ahead try it out yourself and mention it in the comment section that uh, did you succeed or was i good enough was i not do i need to add anything more what do you want to learn next and guys very important thing if you like this video go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel because a lot of you are watching my videos and appreciating my videos but still the views are not going up the subscriptions are not going up but i am determined i will be working hard for you guys for myself and for my channel guys so take care of yourselves do go ahead and support this channel i need your help and need your support take care of yourself and see you soon Bye-bye.